One day, my son came and asked me a question. Father, how many countries are there in this world? I was very surprised because I didn't know the answer. So I told him, I'll tell you tomorrow because I'm busy with work. That gave me time to do some research and I found out. You know what I found out? In the American continent, the Americas, North Americas, there are three countries. The United States of America, Canada, and Mexico. In South America, excluding Mexico, in Central and South America, there are 33 countries. Next, if we move to the Oceania, there are 14 countries over there. And from Oceania, if you move to Europe, there are 44 countries over there. And then if you move to Asia, you have 48 countries. And if you move further to Africa, there are 54 countries. In total, the number of countries in the world are 193. Two countries that are not included are the Holy See and the State of Palestine. These 193 countries are members of the United Nations. These 193 countries are members of the United Nations. The Holy See and the State of Palestine are not part of the United Nations. Some countries are not included due to political reasons. Taiwan, the United Nations consider it represented by the People's Republic of China with Beijing as its capital. The Cook Islands and the Niue, NIUE, both states in these are, part, are considered part of the New Zealand. If you want to know which is the largest country in the world in terms of size, it is definitely Russia, followed by the UK, In terms of size, the largest country in the world is Russia, followed by the USA and Canada. In terms of world population, the largest country in the world is China, 1.4 billion people, followed by India, which has 1.3 billion people, followed by the United States, which is 331 million people. This is followed by Indonesia, which, which has 273 million people. And that is followed by Pakistan, which has 220 million people. In short, if you want to look for countries to travel, you have a variety, a wide variety of nations to travel to. If you like to go and visit just one continent, with only 14 countries, both for the countries in Oceania, Australia and New Zealand are part of that Oceania group. If you are a bit more adventurous, you may want to visit the Latin American and the Caribbean island countries. Uh, number two, about 33. If you have a lot of time, you may want to travel to Europe, which has 44 countries, Asia, which has 45 countries, or better still, Africa, which has 54 countries. However, do know that Africa is a continent by itself, which means it has very different climate throughout the whole continent from the north to south. There will be places where there are deserts, lakes. Some places are extremely cold. Some places are extremely tropical. Some places have a lot of vegetation, plants, and mountains, and so on. Therefore, in short, I've shared with you the 195 countries in the world, the Holy See and the State of Palestine are not included in this list. And therefore, it is only 193. Therefore, I've shared with you the 193 countries total. Unfortunately, I'm not able to give you full details. Thank you and have a wonderful day. I shall be back tomorrow.